Hey, how you guys doing today? Uh, today I want to show you how I created a solar shed. So just in case anybody had their shed far away from the house and they don't want to run wires under the ground or aerial, uh, I just want to show you how you can just bring solar energy to your shed and have free electricity. So here's my uh, 100 watt solar panel. It's a monocrystalline. That just means it has one crystal. And I have my positive and negative wire going through to the shed. And basically, basically this is going to be my office. So. I know it's kind of close to my house, but I, just, I didn't want to just run any type of wire. I just want to just, just produce my own electricity from the sun. So let me show you how I got it done. And if you were thinking about doing this, I know there's a lot of sheds and a lot of boring houses that are kind of far from the main house and uh, people just want electricity out there. So it's a pretty simple setup. I'm gonna go over it real fast. Um, excuse the mess. I'll have all this organized next time I do another video. Um, so basically, guys, this is what's going on. I have my panel coming in, the, the wires. I have a negative wire and a positive wire. So my positive wires I have going to a 30 amp breaker, and I have 10 gauge a wire that's pretty thick so, so that if there's a surge on the solar panel, my wires won't burn. So it's important. You can get 12 gauge, but I usually I want to be extra safe, so I have 10 gauge wiring going to a 30 amp breaker. And 10 gauge is pretty good for 30 amps. It, well, it goes up to 30 amps. So I have it going to a charge controller. I'm going to put about 12.9 volts inside um, going to the battery right now. And this is just the max that the battery can take. And this is the load. I have nothing on the load right now. And uh, basically, I have another two wires going to the battery. I bought two black wires, so I put this chip in to show me if it's positive or negative. Obviously, obviously this is negative and this is positive. And you always have your positive going to another breaker that I have right here, which is a 30 amp breaker. And then I have it going to the battery which is charging my battery. Uh, this battery right here is a smaller battery. Just, I don't need anything too big. I'm not gonna do anything big in here yet. But this is a smaller battery. It's a 35 amp hour battery, deep cycle battery. And um, guys, if you wanna know where I got this stuff, I'll probably make a YouTube video or this will be the YouTube video and I'll put all the uh, appliances and links to get them below. But this is a 35 amp Mighty Max battery. And anybody knows who's using solar and electricity, you can only it's best to only uh, charge or use the battery to about half. So I'm getting about 17 amp, amp hours of uses out of this battery before I need to go ahead and recharge it. So the battery has two alligator clips. You have your uh, positive and your negative is going to my uh, 100 watt, I'm sorry, 1000 watt uh, inverter. And all that inverter does is uh, converting DC electricity to AC electricity so I, so I can use regular appliances. Works pretty well. So far I'm able to uh, get about two or three hours with my Probably, I can get more than that, but that's all I needed for in my life. I bought 20 watt, it's a 20 watt light from uh, Home Depot, which works pretty well. And I'm running my, um, my Vernado fan that just throws air everywhere. And I'm gonna put some more appliances in here. I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna put a, um, a um, smart mirror, and then I'm gonna probably make, uh, my next project is gonna be a, an electric bicycle. So that's pretty much it for right now. I needed some electricity to my shed. I, I want to run wires, so the, the process is simple, simple, simple. I think all together, maybe $400, maybe, maybe less than that. So it's, I think the, the panel and the battery is going to probably be the most. And this is a small battery. This this battery is pretty good for what it does. Next time, I'm, I'm going gonna, gonna to hook it up better. I'm going to organize and put some of these wires in the back. But this is a simple setup, so if you're thinking about... Um, Put electricity in your shed or your barnyard. This is the way to do it. This hundred, you don't have to get a hundred watt solar panel, but I got a hundred watt solar panel because I'm, I'm gonna be doing a lot more things in this shed. I'll be teaching from this shed, so I want to make sure I have adequate electricity and adequate power. Um, and that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, let me know. It's a simple, simple process. I don't know why people make it so difficult. I may put another uh, breaker between my inverter and battery just for more safety. But, I mean, this is just a simple process uh, that pretty much works every time. So, guys, that's pretty much it. You can have a blessed day out there. Bye-bye.